Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can add a new column in a Power BI table which we have created using the enter data functionality. So if you have remember I have shown you about how you can create one manual table something directly within the Power BI uh, that is something useful whenever we have any custom needs like in one of the previous example we created a measures table right. Uh, so if I go back over here, so something like we created a table for total profit, total revenues and the table is over here, dynamic measure. Uh, it was created using this enter data functionality and over here, the table is quite simple. It has the measure and it has the position because with the help of position we can do, you we can utilize the uh, position value in the conditional formatting. What if, if you have to add uh, one more column right so something like you have this way uh, write a text expression that creates a new column right uh, but this is something uh, you need to write a text expression for this but what if you simply wants to create a new new column where it gives you the interface like for example the same enter data something like this where you simply add more column to it to the existing let's say existing table is coming here and you have plus icon to add the data. So I found it like I in one of the scenarios that I have to add it. It's not quite straightforward so I thought of doing bit of a research and now after spending like 15, 20 minutes or 30 minutes I have uh, I have a clear way as to how to go about it. Okay and before I share that quick information that this this Google Sheet which contains all of my previously created Power BI tutorials is present in the description. With the help of this you can come over here using the link that is in the description and uh, search any of my previous uh, 198 videos and jump to that using the uh, link present in column B. Also there are some exercises which I am doing with the help of the workout Wednesday. And as I'm doing, I'm just adding some of my own uh, experience to it and uh, publishing the video using the video link. Also, you have the the actual link of the Workout Wednesday site for their exercises. So just to make life a little simpler in terms of searching it. Okay, with that information, let's come to the Power BI. So what if, if we have to add something like um, um, maybe weight or something like that? So Anyway, anyhow, if if a new column needs to be created, you need to come over here, right click, click on the edit query. When you move into the edit query, uh, you will going to get the uh, setting like this, where you have this options like um, you have measures and position, but still over here, one of the ways is you have add column over here. You can go column from examples and uh, from all columns and from selection, but still it is not giving you the interface and that's what mainly I wanted to show you how you can get it. So the way you can get it is by using the query settings properties and over here if you click on the source right it basically gives you the same interface where you have these two columns and then you can click on plus and let's say what I said is weight and uh, high let's say medium let's say low just some dummy example I'm creating, click OK and uh, you have this value, you close and apply and it should give in couple of seconds your output. So just wanted to show you same interface without having to add any uh, dex, write any dex expression or any conditional column or anything. Just get whatever you need by simply right clicking over here go to edit query and then from there go to the source so using the settings and it basically shows you the table go ahead and add edit delete whatever you want so something i found it useful in those tricky scenarios and i hope you will enjoy it whenever you need such scenario thank you for watching and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic